Does Ford's auto stop feature on the 21 Bronco piss you off as much as it does me? Stick around to see what I did to fix it. Hey, hey, everybody. Tim here, over landing for fun. And uh, as the intro uh, indicated, I am hot right now about the auto stop feature in my 21 Bronco. So to give you a little background, I don't know what Ford's criteria is for how the auto stop engages. Now, I'm not going to debate whether, you know, it's good or it's bad or if it wears the engine out or, you know, or causes component failure with the starter or stuff like that. Uh, This is really just about the timing of how this engages. And quite honestly, I don't, I don't trust it. And, and, and why I say that is that over the couple of months now that I've had the Bronco, I've had numerous occasions where the engine just shuts down. It's kind of at a standstill, but I come to a stop. I'm not even there for two seconds and it's shutting down. And to add injured insult, I can go through a drive through and not have it shut down once, pull away from the window and then wait to pull out onto the street and the damn thing shuts down on me. Now, I don't know about you, but I find, I find it very frustrating. So yes, I can reach over and I can press the button and I can turn it off every time, but I'm not going to do that. So I've seen several different ways to defeat the auto stop feature in the Bronco. A couple of them have to do with tricking the computer. Another one is just a, a plug in device. And after weighing through all of those, I went ahead and, and opted for uh, the plug-in device. And, and just so everybody knows, this is not a uh, sponsored ad or, or commercial or anything like that. And if there's more than one of these out there from a different company, I would probably suggest that you, you check them all out. But I got the Auto Stop Eliminator uh, for the Bronco. And essentially what it is is it's a device that uh, sits in line between the switch and the, the wiring harness and then has an IC chip in here that essentially just remembers the persistent state of where, uh, you know, whatever setting you set. It doesn't interfere. It doesn't prevent the auto stop function from working. It just remembers that if it was off when the car was shut off, it'll be off when you start it back up. If you had it on or in normal mode when you turn the car off, it'll remember that too. Now, the reason I went with something like that is I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm, I've got two young kids and I'm very concerned about the safety. And the Ford Bronco, along with a lot of other cars, whether it's Ford or other brands, have done considerable um, research and work into uh, the safety of the vehicles and some of the uh, active and passive devices that they use in the event of an accident to, to keep the occupants safe. So uh, w- while I am saying this, I'm, I'm not an expert in those, but I, I do have a background in, in IT. And, and quite honestly, I think somebody heard, I heard somebody say it the other day, um, you know, the, the Bronco is a computer on wheels. And there's, there's a lot of truth to that. So one of the things that I've uh, seen some stuff on forums and I haven't seen any videos on would be a, a, like a test device that you would wire up and plug into the uh, seven pin adapter, which is part of the tow package that you would use for the lights and stuff uh, on the trailer. My understanding with that is though, is that it tricks the computer to, that to think that you're in tow mode uh, or you're towing a vehicle. And as part of that, it defeats the auto stop from engaging. Now with that, I don't know passive or active uh, systems uh, would respond because it thinks you're towing something. And when you're actually not, I I don't know if, if braking would respond differently. I don't know if uh, airbags would deploy differently or other things would deploy because it thinks, you know, you're carrying an extra couple thousand pounds behind you. Um, well, that's the Bronco, an extra 800 to a thousand pounds behind you, uh, in your towing, uh, when you're not. And so I don't know if that 
changes how it responds. The other one that I've seen a lot of, and and I'm not knocking Forescan, but I've I've seen this, I've seen videos, I've seen this in the forums where people are like, yeah, just change this thing. It makes the computer think that the wheels turned and that stops it. And it's okay because it doesn't have any uh, error messages or any codes that pop up on a screen. Well, once again, I don't know about you guys. I'm a little concerned about tricking my car to think my wheel is turned when it's not. Once again, it it might be benign. It, it could be an I in, but I'm not willing to take that risk with my kids uh, t- to make them, you know, to, to, to basically stop an inconvenience because believe me, it is an inconvenience for a hundred bucks. You know, I, I, I found this device. I feel much more comfortable installing it. It, you know, maybe, maybe it, it's somebody that doesn't necessarily want to completely remove it. Well, this, this doesn't interfere with it. It just remembers the last state that you left it in. If you had it on, it stays on when you restart the car. If you've had it turned off and, and, uh, it will automatically, when you start the car up again, it will automatically turn it off for you without you having to remember to do it or get to that first stoplight and the car shuts down. So that's, that's kind of why I went with it. Now looking at the website and I will leave a link in the description below for you to, to, to check it out. But, uh, you know, I, I was going to do a, a install video with it. And, uh, my wife reminded me, this is boring. So actually I felt that, you know, looking at their website, they actually have an install video for the Bronco. It's very detailed. It's very easy to follow. Uh, a couple hand tools and a uh, and, and you can install this too. They also have one for the Bronco Sport if uh, if you have a Bronco Sport. Now I understand that one's a little bit easier to install um, because you don't have to pull any of the console uh, panels back. Uh, I think it's something that you can reach actually from the drivers uh, underneath the steering wheel that you can access the uh, the switch. So. Uh, like I said, I'll go ahead and leave those links down there below. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. And hopefully we will catch you one day on the trail. Tim out.